Jay, that's after someone shot it right in the face. And these pictures show the Chow Chow recovering at a veterinarian's office. I visited Loganville to meet one of the people who came to the dog's rescue and now wants justice for him. If it's alive and it needs my help, I'm there to help it. That's how Alicia Bowen has always lived. Ever since I was a little bitty girl, I've rescued all kinds of animals. But her heart is with a certain dog breed. I got my first chow chow when I was 12, and I I've, I've, haven't gone a second without one. So when she got the call Tuesday to help one... I jumped in the car and went, went straight up to Atlanta and picked him up. The dog went into a garage bleeding. The man called Lifeline, and the dog was brought here. No microchip and not neutered. The stray hold was then released to the Chow Chow Rescue Society and that's when Alicia Bowen came to the rescue. His nose was stopped up with blood, um, but he was sitting up. He was covered in blood, had the little little holes everywhere. A vet determined the dog had been shot. Just for him to take all that, still be breathing, still have his tail up, he jumped right in my car. This x-ray shows where all the buckshot is stuck in the dog's face. For him to still be in good spirits and, and have all the bullet fragments and blood everywhere, and it was, it was amazing. They're calling the dog clay for his red georgia clay coat he's now in the hands of uga veterinarians i think that he's going to be okay i think he's in the best hands um right now cute dog right oh, clay yeah. was originally found in fairburn and there's now a search for information to find the person who did this to clay vets say that he's now blind in one eye and it may have to be removed if that eye becomes more of a problem poor baby all right well storms are